Hello, Peter. Just to start off quick, this is the spray hood for the Bayliner 2050. This is the canvas for the 2655. It's brand new except for this back cover, which is in good condition anyway. But all the sides, top, the bimini top, are all new. I've been on a month outside. Go to the bolt. The bolts here. We've got the drive leg off it. We're still working on it at the moment. Polishing. I can't fit it all in. Try. Got a good shine. We're going to. Nearly finished. Sorry about the chaos in the garage. Yep. Huh? Yep. There's a drive leg. We're just going to spray paint it. One of the seats is there. It's out at the moment. There's a cockpit seat. I'm moving pounds, so that's why there's such a big mess. There's a nick in the cockpit seat. Oh, the ladder's not here. I'll just the canvas is in the greenhouse. Oh, there's the mud guards off the trailer. The roof canvas is there. Okay. Oh, back in the house. Because all the cushions have been took out and washed. Here's all the cushions out of the cabin. I've washed them all. All like come up like new again. Just to show one of them. They're all mouldy, so I cleaned. So the inside is still hasn't been cleaned. Quick. The dashboard is out. I'm going to recover it with some 3M stuff, what's identical because of the poor shape. Uh, there's a GPS there, there's a, a battery gauge. The tachometer's took out just because we tested it on the other boat, and that's how we know the t on the 2050. So we know the tachometer's okay on this, and that's how we know it's failed on that one. Hmm. It's all in bits at the moment, so forgive me. Still covered in dirt and say. Two tables, table one and two, outer table, inner table, back seat, just needs a few little tweaks to pull out, and the other part of it's unscrewed, we've still got to clean out a bit. The other seats are in the place. GPS material uh, engine. We had to take it out to change the sump. The sump was rotten. New dampers on the hatch. I've got the engine top. There's still the bit of water from the rain. And uh, the Mercruiser flash arrestor guard is in the garage with tank, new oil, new dampers. Engine repainted. Looks like new. We haven't run it, I'll show you next week it running. Mm. A quick fly through. The shine's coming nice on it. A few little bits of repairs, a bit of cracking. Um, I think it's from age. Inside. All the bits are out of the inside for cleaning. But it's in good condition. A bit of mould in the 
roof liner, but it's coming out. We'll get it out. Just from lack of use, American and the hot climate in the United States in the summer. Toilet, all there, flush toilet with holding tank. Just needs cleaning again. All in generally good condition. Underneath, I've cleaned part of it already. You can see the first small bit is cleaned. It's come up very good. I've converted it to 240 volts as well from 110. Uh, the microwaves are 110 volt, but it's a bit poor. Bit of an old-fashioned radio cassette, but CD it works. Fridge, problem with fridge. All works, but all the shelves are missing. See, I'm going to see what I can do about that. But, you know, I'm not in the fridge business anymore. Wouldn't it have been any problem. Uh, Draws. I'll just go back outside and take a picture of the outside. There's a few little chips here and there on it, but nothing major. General good. A couple of nicks in the plastic. Everything's with it. That came with it like new, from new. The guy had it before me had it from brand new, so it's only me and the brother, the original owner. Hmm? It's a 98. So does it need to be paperwork? Problem is looking at it. It's really a really good bolt, just a few little chips and nicks here. Really shiny gel coat. A couple of scratches on the decals, but they're going to be touched in. There's a 2.050 from the distance. That's it.